more information about the migrant crisis it's just getting out of control now i just got this from someone called chris via email so i'm going to share it with you now and let's see what chris has to say right let's make this a bit bigger so i can see it easier right hi funky i work at an eight room bed and breakfast in norfolk normally we are at full occupation from may through to september stroke october with holiday bookings we also work with the district county council outside this time to provide emergency accommodation for the vulnerable in brackets we have a single parent with two kids staying long term at the moment due to eviction by her landlord the owner received a letter from the home office last week wanting to block book all of our double ensuite rooms and our family room that has its own kitchen and four beds for a corporate booking for non-UK residents. Corporate booking, yes, we have spoken about this before. I've also seen the front page of the letter and it states that the booking is for exclusive use of the home office which means that all provisional bookings and current occupation be terminated if the owner wants to accept the contract which runs until November this year. The letter continued with explanations of a landline being available for residents as well as Wi-Fi and no evening curfew in brackets. Our doors are normally locked at half past ten at night close brackets our rooms start from around 50 pound a night off peak or 70 pound for the family room the young mum and her kids are currently occupying the home office is willing to pay 150 pound per room per day if the non-uk residents can stay all day in brackets usually guests are expected to be out of their rooms for cleaning between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. close brackets their food will be provided also now I don't care who stays in the B&B as long as I get paid but it's not right that single parent mum of two is going to be yeah the single parent mum with two kids is going to be asked to leave us to make way for immigrants who are being looked after better than our own citizens the owner hasn't agreed to the home office request as I write this, but the deadline is the 18th of March to sign the agreement. Sorry for, for the waffle, but everything I've said is genuine and I'm worried we are turning out a UK citizen and her kids to make way for immigrants. That's not right. Cheers, Chris. Absolutely, I, um, I couldn't agree more. And unfortunately this is just one case of probably hundreds or thousands which are going on right now another screenshot which i'm going to share now which is quite interesting now this has probably got more bearing on the previous video that i put up at eight o'clock tonight dear landlords circo is holding a landlords event in stoke on wednesday the 1st of march 2023 we would be delighted to see you there please click on the link below to book your free ticket now that link i put underneath this video so you can check it out for yourself the strange thing is though it seems to be in the past where the event is in the future which is a bit odd maybe they've sold out maybe at limited time i just do not know agenda <laughs> that word again arrival from 11 a.m for networking refreshments and a time to chat to members of the team at 12 midday there will be a short presentation outlining the aasc lease and questions for the circo senior team between 1 and 3 pm there will be an opportunity for individual conversation with our specialists and networking bullet points are the aasc lease explained find out about our planned future dispersal areas meet our team of experts here to help you understand the types of property sought after have your questions answered 
Serco provides asylum, sorry, migrants, accommodation and support services in the northwest of England, Midlands and east of England. Our purpose is the provision of accommodation, transportation and substance payments for migrants whilst their claims are being processed. We are looking for landlords and in investors across the Northwest, Midlands, and the East of England. Like we have pointed out before on that video, which I done, which went up earlier at 8 p.m. today. Now, like I said, sadly, this is not an isolated incident. Okay, there are lots and lots of these emails coming to me and many other people who are talking about what is actually going on we are going to be losing at this rate so many properties in the uk um, to these foreign migrants which incidentally are mostly the overwhelming majority are male fighting age men who are not obese not not disabled there's hardly any children there's hardly any women so when you talk about asylum seekers you know, people fleeing from war-torn countries, why would they leave all their family at home? Surely all of them would flee to a safe area like the UK for their own protection. Now, my question to you is this, why is the overwhelming majority of these migrants, yes, not asylum seekers, migrants, why are they mostly male? Interesting question. And why are all of our B&Bs, empty houses, landlords etc are all being contacted right now by Serco. very very interesting indeed now please um, send me an email the email is below this video and let me know what you're seeing if you're a landlord or you know a landlord it really helps give us a better idea of how extensive this ongoing situation is so i bid you good day thank you very much for watching and stay focused